What's up everybody, back here again, AVP, and today I just want to talk about a very interesting company. Actually, you know what, everybody's talking about how electric cars should look like, how they should feel like, how they should drive like, how they should communicate, how they blend in with communities, people, environments, all that kind of stuff. But there is rather one company out of the outskirts of the UK, or rather in the inner city of the UK, in the heart of the UK, okay, guys? That is reimagining electric cars as we know them. That's right. These guys are reprogramming electric cars, autonomy and electric cars, IoT. Their understanding of IoT is slightly a little bit more different than your custom companies out there. And that leads me to the topic of today, guys, the arrival of the future. Let's get into it. <music> Hey guys, so today I want to talk about a little bit about this company called Rival. That's right, it's Rival. It's been out there for a little while now. I've been looking at their work since they started, actually, which I believe was a couple of years ago, actually, from you know from now. I think it was about 10 years ago. I don't know. But they've been around the block for a little while, and I've been watching them much like I've been eyeballing Tesla. But these guys are doing things a little bit more differently, right? They're not following your Teslas and your Lucid Air Motors. Uh, no, they're doing things slightly, a little bit differently. Their focus, they, their niche is essentially manufacturing electric commercial vehicles, and they're in the heart of Britain. So the company was actually founded in 2015 by a guy called Dennis shred off so it's obviously it's gaining a little bit of attention you know by the likes of myself and other guys so this company is actually focusing on six different things right one micro factories two generation 2.0 electric cars or electric vehicles rather number three they were focusing on a very specific market or a niche market off buses they want to manufacture electric buses as well as electric vans is number four and then the fifth component they're focusing on is autonomous driving technology and then fifthly well, well sixth well the last thing that they want to focus on is sustainability if we actually go quickly onto their website scroll down a little bit there we go so it says arrival excel van now this is their website right here this is the first thing that you see actually first of all well, the website is very well built not gonna lie so why arrival i mean the website is pretty cool it's quite interactive you get to see talent, get in touch, partners, investors. So if you want to invest in these guys, I guess you could go ahead and do do so right here. Zero emission mobility solutions for a city. I mean, it's a legit company, guys. And, oh, this is their stock. Stock price. Okay. Data provided. 50 minutes delay. Okay. Well, this is all good and well, but we want to get down to the juicy stuff, their products, right? We see their Excel van, but these are their products, right? Yeah, the video is not so very high definition, but it will do for now for this particular, for the purposes of, the, for the purposes of this video, rather, right? Now, you could see over here that Uber could literally hire these guys out for any delivery stuff um, uh, for, you know, exclusive or very, um, I guess, uh, I don't know, like very prominent clients that Uber's got. They'd be like, hey, Arrival, do you want to be a subcontractor for this? Arrival comes in and go, yeah, sure. I mean, oh, well, and let me put on my British accent. Yeah, sure, mate. Do you want me to deliver some packages for you? And Uber's going to be like, yeah, yeah, sure. We want you to deliver packages to Jeff Bezos instead of using his drones. But you could see here, guys, that they've got these really super cool con uh, concepts, right? Um, of cars and there's the arrival car over here the future of ride hailing as i said to you guys these guys aren't just focusing on commercial vehicles they are focusing on personal vehicles as well for consumers such as this arrival car that you see right over here obviously just by looking at this alone this is going to be heavily priced i mean <sighs> Okay, that was the car. Let's look at the van. So this is the Excel van, right? It's a delivery van, as you can see. Reimagined, purpose-built, urban utility vehicle. Beautiful, functional, affordable, and sustainable. Affordable, eh, a little bit questionable and too relative and too vague, actually. Registry interest, as you can see, these are not out of production yet. They're still actually manufacturing these. I'm not sure if they've even, they even do have a concept. Well, these are concepts, actually. But I'm not sure if they've got any. Actually, let me Google this. Excel van. Regarding the prototype of this particular Exo bus right here by Arrival, it seems like it's already been there already. So it completed production of its first electric van at its buy setter micro factory with the test vehicle so to be to be used verification for range testing, blah 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 blah. The milestone is a big <laughs> this milestone is a big step, stepping stone toward 
towards uh, at scale production of their vehicles to firms, customers. So you can see here that they've actually started working on some of these products that they've you know that they've got right here and it's a really 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 cool company guys i'd even love to work for these guys actually eh, not sure if they're considering my cv guys i need to improve my cv okay that's beside the point the point is efficient charging throughout the u.s and europe unfortunately we're in africa we're gonna be the last ones to receive these cars and buses and uh, guys Afri africans can we just manufacture our own things guys we don't intend to be like the brit the europeans or Americans or North Americans or, you know, yeah, Americans in general, but like we do want to be Africans. And I'm not seeing any African company that is even remotely close to what these guys are doing here. I'm sorry. If you know of any African company that is doing even remotely, guys, even remotely close to what these guys are doing here, let me know in the comment section down below and I will ha happily review them. Like happily. All right, let's look at the bus right here, right? So we've looked at the car, we've looked at the uh, we looked at the van. Now let's look at the bus, a rival bus. So this is meant to be as well again a commercial bus. Uh, it's one of those cleaner CDs powered by a rival. Now typically you'd want to see these buses. Well, you are going to see these buses in cities like Netherlands, where people really really value the use of public transport and it's usually subsidized by the government so they don't usually charge people who actually use these buses a lot of money as well so you look at the features over here oh my goodness guys this looks really really good i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie flip the low flat floor wide and passenger doors and user-friendly ramps ramps ensure passengers can maneuver through the bus safely and easily for even more space the battery modules are integrated into the base of the bus for optimal weight balance, ensuring easy maneuvering and letting in natural light from the roof. Goodness me, look at this. Just look at this. Look at, okay, let's look at the connectivity, right? The actual real data analytics or IoT that goes behind these cars, right? Now, this is the um, autonomy. Well, okay, so connectivity has to do with lots of things, but... For now, we'll, let's just simplify to what's written here, right? Connect arrival vehicles to your existing systems effortlessly. Again, IoT guys, right? These systems are built so that they can connect well with your existing items that you got home. If you got a smart Google, I don't know, uh, HomePod or whatever, it's going to tell you that your car is fully charged outside or your bus is ready to go or things like that. In any, in any case, it says here, today's commercial vehicles may rely on expensive hardware bolt-ons uh well yeah bolt-ons yeah and time-consuming modifications to enhance their functionality around vehicles start smart built uh well start smart built from the ground up using arrival's own components they have embedded telematics that allow them to collect data from a wide area sensors so they've got sensors essentially built around the car they, oh goodness me guys this car honestly i'm not i'm not gonna lie i'm in love with this company I'm just in love with this company. If there's any company out there that I'm really truly in love with, there's a lot of bias obviously in this video, right? Needless to point that out, honestly, at this point. Like just it looks like a product I could eat. I feel like I could, I just, it looks so good I could eat it. So Arrival has been investing in autonomous driving technology to enable its vehicle lineup to operate without human intervention. Like this is actually a really, really challenging problem. Like they need a lot of investors actually to pull this one through, like with like without any mistakes at all. And as I said, it's going to take a while for these company for these kind of like vehicles to reach Africa because it's hard to have autonomous vehicles in such saturated economies like Africa, India. It's just really, really tough. <laughs> You'd have to. So there's a very niche market for these guys. And they know who they're targeting. They're not mistaken about the fact that they've got Europe and U.S. only there. No, they're not mistaken at all. And in any case, they they, they, they also aim to integrate their self-driving technology. Well, yeah, their self-driving technology into their electric commercial vehicle um, vehicles, right? The vans and their buses, making them a little bit more suitable for various industries as well as use cases. And then sustainability. As we all know, as with many EVs out there, arrivals vehicles are aimed at reducing the environmental impact of transportation by eliminating tailpipe emissions. The company's focus is also on sustainable transportation, uh, which aligns with broader 
you know, efforts to kind of like fight off or in combat clim climate change around the world and improve air quality for breathing purposes. It's really, really like I don't see them coming to Africa anytime soon. Really not anytime soon. But we as Africans get to find a way to create companies like these for our um for our specific economy structures, right? We've got very weird con economy structures in Africa, starting from uh, North Africa all the way down to South Africa. It's it's just really, really distinct and weird. And we need different thinkers for our own um, economies at the, at the end of the day. And if we want to be as close, I'm not saying we should use these companies as benchmarks, but we should use them as benchmarks is exactly what I'm saying. Uh, by the way, guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe, consider subscribing, and leave a like on this video. Share with a friend and family, your dog, your cat, your mom, your sister, your twin, your, your, your doppelganger, which you don't know about, exists in a different universe. Share it. Just share it across many different platforms if possible, okay? Come back again for more uh, videos like these, and I shall leave you with a snippet of this video to watch just for a couple more to amuse and entice your brain cells a little bit, well, your neural pathways, rather. All right, till next time, I'll be Navy P, guys. Peace!